Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 71-year-old male with pain in the region of the thumb. They have difficulty extending the thumb, and so the doctor thought they may have a tear of one of their extensor tendons of the thumb. So this is a viewer looking through the thumb. These are the thumb muscles here, thenar muscles. We can see along the back of the hand is over here. We see these little dark areas. These are the extensor tendons. We see these round things here. These are the bones, the metacarpal bones the finger or the hand and then along the palm here we see the flexor tendons and so these little dark things are the flexor tendons now the flexor tendons all look good this is the flexor pollicis going to the thumb looking normal now the extensor tendons of the thumb there's two extensor tendons here they are right next to each other we're in the first metacarpal region we have two of them here the brevis is a smaller one and the longus is more dorsal here. So we're going to follow the brevis down. We're going to go down towards the palm into the wrist area. Here's the brevis. And the brevis is right here looking good. Here's the brevis. And we see the brevis all the way down to our lowest cut. There's another one behind the brevis now. This is called the abductor pollicis longus. It comes over here and stops at the base of the thumb here. And this is that brevis, extensor pollicis brevis. As we get back out into the thumb, we're going to follow the other extensor tendon down. So the other extensor tendon is the extensor pollicis longus. So it looks great over here. It looks perfect. But again, follow it down, all the way down. Down, down, down. There it is. Down. There it is here. It's going to swing across. And watch it do that. Down, down, down. And right here, we kind of lose it. When it comes sideways, we can lose it because there's... Um, artifact called magic angle phenomenon and it just is obliquely oriented to you can lose it because it's not nice and straight you're not cutting through the short axis but here we don't see it that well and here we don't see it that well there it looks pretty good and then right there is absent so in this region here we don't see it just because of oblique orientation and then right here is the very end of it, it fizzles out and then boom completely absent this is a ruptured extensor pollicis longest tendon and this is the torn end. It's supposed to go over these two tendons here, the extensor carpi radialis, longus and brevis tendons. It'll loop over the top of these things, but we don't see it looping over the top. And we see the torn end right here. So ruptured tendon. Now the surgeon has to find the proximal end down below the wrist and try to reattach these. Thank you very much.